This is a question that Travis has responded, requested to go last on. And this is uh, some of the conversations I've been having with different folks um, in the current environment. Um, we have a number of people, often in more rural areas, perhaps some areas of mixed density, where they feel like they need to build their own internet access. And it may not even be at a municipal network. And so I just came up with a number that was too low to really do much with. But uh, I'm curious what you would do, Kim, if I if I said for the next six months, I need you to figure out how to help this community out. You have on the order of a million dollars. Uh, what do you do to try to help uh, get uh, a rural community well connected? First of all, you just you have to see if there's any connectivity that you can tie into, and then I would build to their anchor institutions in those small communities, like their library, their city hall, um, some of the the really crux places in the little community, and then from there you could figure out a way to build out years later. But that would be my first to see if there's any way to interconnect to one of the major routes, and then just connect those areas. What do you like? How do you like that answer, Chris? How do you like? Yeah, it? yeah. I mean, well, if you had one of those. Uh, if you had one of those BTOB networks hand nearby, that would be handy. Uh, mm -hmm. Go ahead, uh, well, Doug. The second answer, which a lot of communities are pulling off, because this is what they're doing with ARPA money, is they're making local grants to partner ISPs. And that doesn't sound like mm -hmm. a lot of money, but that's enough to get them to come and build. Mm -hmm. And so, and so, they, so they're getting, and, and mostly they're giving them to co-ops and small telcos. And so they're, they're saying, look, if I give you a million bucks, will you build my county? And it's working. People are taken. They're going like, well, I was already looking at it, and that's enough to change my